Hey, Zach from Nintendo 2 here, back with another Booby Memories Monday, number 86. Um, now, I have like about four videos about to record. Um, this is like a retake because I kind of messed up a ton in the video. So, this one's going to be for Kung Fu Panda 3, my, pers my second favorite of the trilogy. Toy St uh, Kung Fu Panda 3 um, was fantastic, and spoiler alert, if you don't want to, you know watch this video until you watch it, go watch it, then come back if you want. Kung Fu Panda 3, um, pretty much is Poe learning to be a leader because now Master Shifu is stepping down from being the master of the Jade Palace. And, um, Poe doesn't really know how that would work because he's kind of worried that he will mess everything up. And Master Shifu knew that, and that's pr pretty much why he did that, so Poe can learn how to become a better leader. And, um... During all this, um, Kai, a chi warrior from the spirit War realm, I think it was? Yeah, I think it's realm. Um, pretty much was taking all the master's chi from the spirit realm. And Ugwe was his last target. Um, so he needed him to get, get back into the real world. And it's a running gag through the movie where no one knows Kai. And it is kind of funny, to be honest. Um, I actually, in the previous version of this video, I tried to record the first time. Honestly, could not remember the life of me what his name was. Um, but it was hilarious, and probably some of my favorite scenes in this movie, um, has to do with Poe and Kai's interactions. They were hilarious. Um, one of my favorites being the part when he sees Poe, um, with his chi at the, um, the Panda Village, and he's kind of, like, trying to block his body. It was absolutely hilarious. I, I thought it was absolutely hilarious. Um, the baby pandas were, they were pandas. I like pandas. Um... And pretty much another part of the story is pretty much Poe's biological father finally finds Poe after, spoiler alert, Ugwe sent the message to him saying that Poe's alive and kind of led him to the village where Poe's living. And Poe's um, adopted father uh, was getting very jealous and very scared at the same time that he was going to lose Poe because of his biological father showing up. Um, thinking that he would take over. And, um, they, they, this movie was just really well done. I think the only th weird part is how the two fathers came really close at the end. I think that's just a little weird. I'm just glad they never went too far. Um, because I just don't trust companies. Um, these movies, though, are fantastic. Um, I honestly don't think there's really too much I didn't like about this movie. I think the villain was was cool. I thought he was a decent villain. But I think that the uh, the, the villain from Kung Fu Panda 2 is much better. Um, he's probably the coolest villain in the trilogy. And quite the dark backstory, too. Um, Kai, though a decent character in design, and how he acts, he was a little bit kind of generic, I guess. Um, people could say that about Tai Long in the first film, but I thought Tai Long was actually kind of cool. Um, but pretty much Poe's just trying to learn how to be a leader, and Poe's, um, adopted father is trying to, um, make sure that Poe knows that he's there for him, and same thing with his, um, biological father, because now his mother, um, has sacrificed herself to save Poe in the second film. They actually re-show that scene in this movie when the, when his dad is talking to Poe, his biological father. Uh, telling him about how she was and how much that he cared for his wife. Um, this movie, though, so good. If you haven't seen it, you think you can buy them for about $20, I think, on DVD if, as a triple pack. I think you can get them on Blu-ray as a triple pack, uh, pack, but I think it's honestly better to get the Blu-ray because you'll get more additional scenes. And this is my original copy that I unboxed on my channel those four years ago now, and it is... Honestly, a movie I, I watch a lot. Kung Fu Panda 2, I need to get the Blu-ray version of so bad, though. I have Kung Fu Panda 1 and 3 on Blu-ray, while I have the DVD version of 2. And the version I have is the one I unboxed on my channel well over probably like 6, 7 years ago. Um, but yeah, I think that Kung Fu Panda 3 was really good. Uh, the trilogy, it's my second favorite. Kung Fu Panda 1 is not bad in the slightest. Um, but I just in terms of story and characters, I think 2 and 3 were definitely better. I know they're not going to really make any more because I think the sales for them in the theaters were not too high. Their ratings were, just not the sales.
But tell me in the comments below of what um, you guys and girls think about this video and what do you think of Kung Fu Panda 3. Of the three films, which one is your favorite? And, and tell me why. See you guys in the next videos, and God bless.